Oh, we've got Lee here. And uh, change of temperature. We're, we're like starting to dip into the fall. Well, that was the thing. I mean, if <laughs> anything, if it's anything but gradual. You know, we had the big cliff being in the 80s last week. So yeah. something to get used to here. But overall, you know, it's a pretty nice week. We get our sunshine during the week. The problem is, is when you see that end of the seven day and another wet weekend coming up. So first of all, we look from Catman Plaza back to lower Manhattan. This is kind of the, the routine, the timeline you follow in weather like this, where the clouds will tend to build during the day and then they'll start to diminish towards sun. Set. So our temperature right now is at 58 degrees. The air is pretty dry. Winds have been a little bit gusty. And of course, with the sun behind the clouds, when you're in the upper 50s, it feels a little chilly. Felt nice when the sunshine came out at times today. There are still some wind gusts, especially on the Connecticut coast, Long Island, uh, down in Belmar, where wind gusts are 15, 20 miles an hour. But that'll relax during the evening hours. So it won't be as gusty over the next couple of days. This week is more typical October, maybe a couple degrees below average. And most of the time it's dry. There are a couple of shower chances I'll highlight through Friday. One is tonight, and there's another small chance on Thursday, but I think there are many areas that could go through the entire stretch and be dry. It's a different story over the weekend. We're going to have to time a pretty significant coastal low that's likely to form and give us some soaking rain at some point over the weekend. Right now, if there were a time over the weekend we might be able to salvage, it would be Saturday morning. But after that, some rain's coming in, and we might need that weather alert at some point Saturday night and into Sunday as well. So for now, this is big circulation over eastern Canada. This is the same circulation that absorbed that was once Philippe and our Saturday soaker. So it's still spinning there, and little spokes of energy are rotating around it, like this one over parts of Virginia. So as it lifts northward, we get into a shower chance during the overnight. Right now, we just have a fair amount of clouds, a lot more off to the north and west. We'll probably see a pretty sunset as the clouds are beginning to break south and west of New York City. So the timing of that batch of showers is right around the 11 o'clock tonight, especially city on southward, Long Island after midnight, unlikely too many showers get too far north and west, and there might be an early shower tomorrow morning before clouds start to break for some sunshine during the day, a cool start tomorrow. Lower 60s, nothing more than an isolated sprinkle in the afternoon, not a bad afternoon at all. Then tomorrow night, partly cloudy skies, and we're in a sweet spot on Wednesday in between systems. That's our best day of the week. Some upper 60s, a fair amount of sunshine. Then you'll notice some clouds trying to get in the mix on Thursday. It doesn't look like a bad day, just an isolated shower chance. And then a big storm developing in the Midwest. That's our weekend weather. Here's your accurate forecast for tonight. 52 degrees, partly to mostly cloudy skies. There is a shower in spots, but it's late night and early morning. Might just sleep through that. For tomorrow, cool, not as windy. A clouds and sunshine, just an isolated sprinkle in the afternoon. Tomorrow night, 52, clearing out, and Wednesday's a great day. Thursday, more clouds, nothing more than a stray shower. Friday, increasing clouds. Again, not a bad day, but Saturday turns rainy, especially in the afternoon. Could be a soaking Saturday night into Sunday, and then unfortunately the storm has no quick plans of departing, so lingering showers in 50s into early. I'm going to give this storm a call. That's what's going to happen. It's another great four-day, but yeah. oh, last three days. Not our four-day. Right, exactly. All right. Thank what you. to do on a rainy weekend. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thanks, Lee. So the combo and I was here at 5 o'clock. We're going to tell you the new view of the migrant crisis in New York City that Mayor Adams says he now has after his trip to Central America. Plus, why you might have a difficult time picking your prescription up at two popular drugstore chains.